Hello again, this is the continuation of our last uh, recording about uh, TPMS uh, simulation with uh, HFSS. So uh, as we talk, uh, as we showed you, uh, we ran, we did the initial run and uh, here are the E field for the antenna itself. Now that we're uh, happy with the result, we're going to add more details to the model. That means we're going to add the rim here. And once we add the rim, we need to also start to tuning the, the model. For that, there are different parameters that we need to consider. One is the hole diameter. What's the diameter of this hole here? And that's uh, the small hole and the big hole here. Another one is the rim thickness. What's the thickness of this rim? As you know, it's inner side and outer side. So what's the thickness? And what is the height of uh, upper and lower silker, meaning from this point to this point, what the height is. And also uh, another uh, point is how deep this antenna is located here. It could be very deep uh, inside the tire. It could be in the middle, it could be all the way out. So those are the variable that we need to consider. Uh, of course, uh, the, the more the antenna is out, the more radiation, but at the same time, there are like phys some physics limitation uh, because of the valve system. So we need to consider all that. And um, uh, in order to simplify the model, we consider only one material for the rim and the material of the valve system is, is uh, ignored in this model. So uh, now that, that we know um, how the rim is generated, we need to uh, try different parameters. Now, one of the main one here is the thickness. Uh, as you can see here, the thickness of the rim is very, it's a lot and here is it's, it's a little bit less and here is very, very um, tiny. The way we did it is that we had this uh, rim and uh, we scale it to 70%, for instance, in this example, so the inner one is 70% of the outer part. That's where the ratio comes from. So it's the inner dimension divided by outer dimension. And uh, so this 30% is what is left. Here is only 10% of the material is left and here's only 2% left. So we, this is one of the parameters that we studied and uh, the less thicker the rim is the better radiation, but at the same time, it cannot be very, very th uh, thin because uh, uh, it's not feasible, it's not uh, realistic uh, because it has to has a minimum thickness in order to handle the weight of the car and, and, and all the uh, mechanical pressure. So uh, again, in this parameter, as uh, I mentioned before, there are uh, different uh, uh, parameters that we need to study. We, we talked about them here, these are the main parameters that we play with. And uh, in order to make it simple, we just show two of them here. Uh, one of, on the left-hand side, you see the antenna wire di diameter from 4.5 to 5, and these time steps are 0.1 millimeter. On the right-hand side, we see the different thickness of the rim, as then you can see there are huge difference when you go uh, from 0.9, which is 90%, to point, uh, 96 or 97, but when you are around 97 to 99, there is not that much difference in terms of phase shifting. It's just getting deeper and uh, S11 will be in a better shape. So we uh, studied different uh, parameters and then here uh, it's, it's the result. As you can see, there's the E field uh, for the rim and the antenna. Antenna is located here. This is one section, this is another section. So we'll see a good uh, E field radiating around the antenna. And as expected, uh, these, these sections don't, don't have a lot of uh, radiation because of uh, the rim and uh, the fact that it's uh, the material, which is metal, it's uh, blocking the radiation. For instance, in this point, you can see it's not that much, but at the other part, we can see some orange and, and yellow colors. So that being said, uh, we, sh um, we should also different intersection 
Uh, so you can visualize what's going on here. Once we are uh, happy with the result, uh, we start to make adding the car box to represent the car. And for that, we add just a cube, uh, take two score out of it for the windows. And here we took this part to, to put the wheel. We ignored the wind front and the rear windshield or the sunroof. You can all add all those details, but for for now we uh, just uh, make the box as like this geometry for, for the simulation. And these are different views of the car box. The antenna, the fifth antenna will be somewhere in this area. The other antenna are all these in, in these four areas. Now we added the wheel, as you can see, uh, and then uh, we want to see uh, what's the effect of adding the box. Uh, as you can see, it, it went to 350. So previously, it was at 315, as, as you saw here. And then we tune it also here and make it at, at around 315. And what, once we add the car box, it, it shifted. It's because of the effect of the geometry of the car box. So again, we need to do some tuning. So uh, we did the tuning. Now it came back to 315. Now when I say tuning, it, it means uh, all the parameters that we discussed, the thickness of the car box, the, the rim, and the antenna itself uh, have uh, different parameters when we uh, play with them. So uh, S11 gets to here at around minus 3.3. Uh, the antenna itself was minus 10, but adding the rim and car box, it, it uh, brings it from minus 10 to minus 3.3. And then here is the all all uh, four tires together. As you can see, it's a little tiny bit difference between them, but the overall they're in a good uh, shape. And here is the fifth antenna, which is the receiver. A small one is uh, less. It's because it's inside the box, whereas those are exposed to outside and air. So here is the details of our uh, setup. Now that we did the tuning. Uh, we are going to run the simulation again, but this time with, uh, with much smaller steps to make sure we get a accurate result and use a four core machine. Here we can see the result of uh, S, R, and X, uh, where R is the receiver, and the fifth, which is the fifth antenna, and X is the tires. X could be one, two, three, or four. So for instance, S, R1 here, which is this blue one, means uh, between receiver and the uh, first antenna. And you can see RL represents the right, left. FR is front, right, and FL is front, left. So it's between the front, left, and the rim. The, the green one is the, between the front, right, and the receiver. The RL, which is uh, rear, left, and the receiver. So here we see uh, how uh, the, the coupling is between the main antenna and uh, all four tires. Another parameters we have studied is that uh, the effect of tire on each other. And as you can see here, we have around minus uh, 25. Here we went to minus 37. Um, and uh, for instance, FR over FL means uh, front right tire uh, with front left tire or RR with FL, rear right tire with uh, front left and this is rl in case it's small to read it's rl with fl so now that we started all these uh, we, we plot the e-field and as you can see e-field is not uh, it's uh, concentrated a lot on these uh, around the antenna itself and because of all these car bugs it's, it's hard for the radiation to get in um, it's the same for the uh, receiver which is the uh, middle of the car. Uh, in the car industry, they just put it up here or somewhere down here or back here or up here. It's one of these four points, mainly depending on, on what car they're using. So we, we, we want to make sure it has good uh, kind of uh, coupling with the antenna. Here we see the uh, gain and realize gain. The left side is gain, the right side is realize gain. As you notice, it depends. the peak went from six to three. And here they are located on the car. Um, the the one in, on the tire, it's based on uh, decibel, and this is just a regular number. That's why you see different uh, 
shapes but these are the uh, far field uh, pattern for these uh, antennas and we can use them for emit or other uh, purposes so at the summary we covered uh, what tpms is we simulated that one step by step in a car and start the decoupling between the receiver and all four antennas and uh, the tire antenna with each other. Next step is to go and use EMIT, which is another ANSYS software, to, in order to calculate the uh, link uh, budget. Uh, and there, in that simulation, we use the BFSK, uh, which is the next uh, a presentation here or the next uh, video clip that you see here. So please feel free to ask any question or uh, you can also check the other, uh, the next uh, video to see how we use EMIT, uh, what's its capabilities and uh, how we use this result in EMIT. So thanks for your time. Uh, we are OZEN Engineering Incorporation. Uh, we use, uh, um, physics-based simulation to solve multidisciplinary engineering uh, problems. Uh, it could be multi-physic finite element, computational fluid, high frequency and low frequency electromagnetic. Uh, please feel free uh, to contact us if you have any question uh, or, if, or if you like uh, any uh, consulting service uh, from us. It's good to point that we are a light channel partner. Uh, we've been a light channel partner for more than uh, 17 years for now. Thanks for your time and have a great day.